Hey, Gown, hey, Gown. Uh, good, uh, good to see you all here. Uh, hopefully you have a good show. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, just bit, I'm just quite excited to be here. Uh, sorry, what was that, mate? Sorry? No, uh, look, I'm the funny prick, mate. That's why I'm up here and you're sitting down there, all right? So let's get that started. <laughs> Probably oh, now he's got a drink in the end, I don't mind a drink. I might be here every now and then. Went to the pub last week and uh, geez, I had a few beers and got bloody pissed. I'm walking outside and walking out and I'm thinking, my God, I'm so pissed I can't even bloody walk. I think, fuck, I bought the car. <laughs> so anyway, I get in the bloody car and I'm driving home. And I can lo and behold, a bloody copper pulls me over. He said, oh, mate, you're doing, uh, you're doing 70 in your 60s, aren't there? You know, have you, got a, uh, have you got a reason for that? And I said, well, to be honest, officer, I said, I'm not bloody pissed. I thought, uh, the sooner I get home, the, uh, the safer it'll be for everybody. <laughs> Just, uh, <clears throat> you know, tell an old girl I've known the other day, you know, and she's on the pill and all that, and she hasn't been the bloody chemist, and... He said to me, he said, oh, you know, if I don't get the camp scene, I'm, uh, you know, <laughs> the old boy, he's going to have to uh, put a uh, rain cat on, you know, put a condom on, and uh, we're going to have to go from there. I don't think he's going to be too bloody happy about that. Well, I said to her, I said, you know, when you wear a condom, it's like, uh, it's like diet coke sex, you know. You don't mind a diet coke, diet coke's nice, but, uh, you know, <laughs> you bloody prefer the real thing. And, uh, you know, I'm a single bloke, you know. I'm, I'm single for a while and then I got thinking to myself, I thought, well, if uh, diet cakes, you know, when you put a finger off, that's diet cake sex and, you know, real sex is, uh, you know, full strength cake, the real thing. Jeez, what, what's my self of bloody service all about? I thought, myself, that's like uh, bloody uh, home brand cordial with the uh, bloody warm tap water. <laughs> oh, that it bothers me, you know, like I, I got stuffed over by my wife years ago, you know. You know, you're travelling down the road of life and, you know, everything's going well and then you, you miss a screws your over and you think it's the end of the road. And I was a bit depressed there for a while, but then I had an epiphany. I thought, it's not the end of the road. It's just like any road. You just need to find an uh, alternate route. <laughs> Bloody Indian jib at him, they ring you. They ring you up. I'm not a racist, but you know, I've got to say, the Indians are ringing you up. You know, they're trying to sell your mobile phone plan, you know. Need a document from uh, Dubai, I want to tell you, I want to wait, I want to get back it. I don't even want to bloody stand them. You know, like, they ring me up. This, this, and this is what I do, this is what I do. It's bloody funny. This is what I do. They ring me up. Hello, this is Dahit from Delta Road. I want to talk to your manager about your mobile phone account. Oh, you yeah, know, worries. Uh, yeah, I'm the manager. Well, what do you want to know? Oh, well, we have a good deal for you today. We can do this and we can do that. And, rah, rah. and this is what I bloody do. This is what I do. This is bloody gold. This is what I do. I start talking. I start talking. Uh, start talking back to them and say, yeah. And they go, I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said, oh, you know, you need to compose them. You know, I'm sorry, sir. I can't understand you. And then I turn around and I go, yeah, it's fucking annoying, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I reckon they should do? You know what they should do? Every time you ring a bloody mobile phone company or, uh, you know, phone company, whatever, you always get a bloody Indian. Every now and then you get an Australian, you, you always get a bloody Indian. And I want to think that they should have, a, uh, they should have every culture, every, every country, like, you can choose, you know? Uh, you know, you ring up and... To say, oh, you know, uh, to speak to an Indian, please press one. To, uh, I don't know, to speak to an Asian, please, please press two. Uh, I reckon the best one, though, would be, uh, you know, if you want to speak to a Scottish bloke, please press three. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd love to, I'd love to speak to a Scottish bloke. I want, I want to have a mobile phone plan from the Scottish bloke. Could you imagine it? You push buddy three on the phone, and then it comes through the other end. Oh, this is Jorkin on Telstra. I wonder if you can talk to someone, your manager, about your mobile phone plan. I'd love that. <laughs> I'd be right into that. I'd be right into that. I'd say, hey, God, what do you got for me, son? 
you know, you need to be like, yeah, that is, it's Stuart from Territory. I can give you a mobile phone plan, we're doing a special deal right now. I, we will give you $50 if we can prove that your current mobile phone plan is completely fucking shite. <laughs> And then why well, stop there, you know, we could go, where well, you going, any country, even the back door bloody country, you know, there's a lot of back door countries out there, we wouldn't even bloody heard of. I don't know, you could press, uh, I guess, 4 for Kazakhstan, you know, you press 4 for Kazakhstan, and you hear over the phone, uh, you know. Can I talk to you about me and my phone, Blaine? My sister has the same deal, it's very good. You know, <laughs> I don't know, just, you know, just bloody mix it up a bit, you know, I don't see what the problem is. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wondering how many people out there have just noticed I've come to the stage of one shoe. I bet no one's bloody noticed. I bet no one's noticed. Yeah, I've got to, I've only got one shoe, but you know, um, they're ripples. You remember ripples? They're from the 80s. They're from the 80s. They're all bloody good shoes. I'm a bit of a bogan, so you know, I like to, uh, I like to live in my past. You know, the, uh, the, the ripples were good. The ripples were good, but I'll tell you what, because I had that little sawtooth, uh, a little sawtooth bass on them, you know, you remember the one, sawtooth bass, like desert boots. I mean, I'll tell you what, you know who the, you know who the, who the uh, biggest fan of the uh, Ripples was? <laughs> it was the bloody ants, because they had a 50-50 bloody chance of survival. <laughs> they bloody loved that, you know. But, uh, I've only got one shoe, you know, and, and I've done a bit hard, but I, I, I'm, I'm not too devastated though, because uh, I'm going to get the next one off late, the next one out of lay by next week. <laughs>